In this video, we're gonna talk about what tools you need to start, and we're gonna talk about it right now. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I've been plumbing over 38 years, and I have every master endorsement in the state of Texas. On this channel, I'm teaching you everything you need to know about plumbing. If you haven't been here before, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. This video was made just because somebody asked about it. What tools do I need when I start plumbing? Now, that's gonna vary because I don't know what kind of plumbing job you're getting to start out. Are you being a service plumber? Are you being a commercial plumber? Are you being new construction? Are you being residential? What are you doing? So let's say you're going to work for a plumbing company and you don't even know what kind of work you're doing. Well, the things that I'm gonna recommend that you carry your first day, maybe a tape measure. Why? because no matter what you do, you're gonna need to measure something. And it may be not as often used in service work, but even in service work, you may need to know how long a sewer line is, how far did the camera go inside the house. There are different things that you may need to measure, and even if you make a repair or you're changing a flex line, you might need to know how long that needs to be. A tape measure is something that you're going to use in just about any section of plumbing or any area of plumbing that you may decide to get into. And a tape measure is a great thing to have with you at all times because you never know when you're going to need it. Now I'm old school, so a tape measure may be a stick rule. Now an old school plumber likes these. They come in handy. There are times that this is the best tape measure you can have. So this is one thing that you may not need in the beginning, but later this may be something you want to throw into your tool bag. Another thing that you're going to need in the beginning is a level. Now, there's different kinds of levels, but they're always good to have with you. When you're putting in a piece of pipe, you need to know that it's going to drain properly. There's a lot of old school plumbers that'll look at it and say, yeah, that's good. A real plumber puts a level on it just to make sure. The reason being, you want to make sure that you know how far it's falling from here to there. And that can be very important. And this is, even if you're in service work, I've had some of my plumbers get called back because they didn't put a level on the TMP line on the top of the water heater. And a good inspector will put a level up there just to make sure that it's got fall. So always take an extra couple of minutes, put a level on it just to verify it's falling the way that it should. Okay, another thing is screwdrivers. Now, I've got two good ones here that I really like. I like the flathead and the Phillips, but the neat thing is you can also do, I believe this one is like an 11 and one screwdriver. It has got small and large, flat and Phillips. It's got a quarter inch nut driver, a 5 16 nut driver. I believe it's got a wire stripper and a tire changer. So this is something Maybe it doesn't have the tire changer on this one, but this is a tool that's really good to have and something you may need. Another great thing to have is a hammer. Now, there's different kind, there's different heads on them, there's different weights, there's different sizes, but a hammer is a really good tool to have. And this is something really, it doesn't matter if you're gonna be commercial or residential, it's a tool that you're eventually gonna want in your bucket. Another thing that I always carry around with me is my bag of tricks. Now, I'll tell you what, this is funny, but Channel Lock makes this great little set that has everything from the small Channel Locks to the big Channel Locks. And tools that maybe a plumber may not normally need like end cutters or a side cutter, wire cutters, needle nose, medium sized Channel Locks, and my favorite, the big mouth crescent wrench. What I like about this, this is not a big crescent wrench, very short actually, but big enough to get on a big nut if you need to. Yeah, big nut. If you wanna check the link below, there is a link to this. I know we got this on Amazon. It's the only place I've been able to find it. And we have links in here to some of these other tools too. Maybe not the exact same one I've got, but one that we use. So if you wanna click below to find out more about it, click on the link below and you can see where to get this stuff. Now, there's a lot of different bags. There's soft bags, there's toolboxes, there's all kinds of things to carry your tools in. Your first day, a five gallon bucket will work great. You can move up from there if you want to. Oh my God, the most important one that I forgot about. 
you've got to have a cool mustache. If you don't have a cool mustache, you can't be a good plumber. It's just part of it. Guys, these pretty much cover the basics. These are things that you may need on your first day. After you've been there a while, learn to watch the plumber you're working with. What tools does he have that you may need? And it really depends on if you're doing service or new construction, if you're doing residential or commercial, because all the tools are different. There's a long list of electrical tools that you may have to supply depending on what kind of company you go to work for. Now, one thing to remember too, in the union, in some unions, you may not even be able to bring your own tools. Some unions supply the tools, and if you bring one on the job, they're going to get on to you about it. So guys, talk to the people you're going to work for, ask them what you need to bring on your first day, and you'll be fine. Guys, if you're already plumbing and you showed up the first day without a tool, leave us a comment down below what you should have carried. There may be something that I'm not thinking about. Also, if you can think of other tools that maybe they may want to carry, go ahead and leave that comment down there below too. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And remember, we made this video because somebody asked us to. If you've got a video that we can make for you, let us know what it is and we'll see what we can do. Hope you enjoy these videos. I'm Roger Wakefield, Elite AP, the expert plumber, and I'll see you on the next video if you don't get flushed.